Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting out the day with me. My first guest this morning is the former Miss Continental USA and former Miss Continental elite Dana Douglas. Now, she is a stunning entertainer who is a legend in the drag community. The former Key West resident is back to her old stomping ground for a few days. Dana, it's such a pleasure having you here. Thank well, you. Thank you, Jenna. It's a pleasure to be here. First of all, what is it like to be back in Key West? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> it is so wonderful. There's so many exciting things happening here now. It's, it's, it's amazing. And what was it like when you did live here, Dana? I know it was probably 10 it, plus years ago. Oh, many, many years ago. <laughs> this is back in the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, it was quite different. You know, I've been coming here, though, since the 70s when it was very, very different. It was a little island, you know, very quaint and quiet and crazy. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure it's nice to always come back and you're very welcomed. Oh, I sure am. They they always treat me like like family here. You know, I lived here for 12 years. I worked at the Copa, at Donnie's, oh, at many clubs here over the years. And just, I made so many great friends and, and people that are like family to me. Great. Now, Dana, I have to say you have a beautiful look. So what inspired Dana Douglas? Oh my gosh, um, Hollywood movie stars. You know, I was always a fan of old movies, so I tried to emulate them as much as I can and, and yet make it my own look, mm -hmm. you know. And, and how long has Dana Douglas been alive? Oh, you're asking a deep one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing drag for about 37 years. Mm -hmm. Yes. 37 years, so what got you started? 37 years ago? Um, I went to uh, my first gay club in Tallahassee, Florida back in 1970 and, uh, <laughs> and I saw a drag show and I was just amazed. I, I couldn't believe that these were men up there looking so beautiful and, and right there I knew that was what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And you've just been doing it ever uh, since then. I've been punishing people for years now. Yes. <laughs> no, not punishing because you're very good at what you do, <laughs> hence the titles that you've oh. won. Tell us about Miss Continental USA and Miss Continental Elite. Well, Miss Continental is a very prestigious pageant. It's one of the premier pageants for female impersonators in the country. Um, it has several divisions, which is the, the, the regular division, the plus division, the Mr. Division, and the elite division. Well, I was lucky enough to get uh, the regular division back in 1987 when I was a resident of Key West, so I brought the title home that year, and it was amazing. And this year, I came out uh, of a semi-retirement, you might say, to go back and compete in Miss Continental Elite, which is a new division for them, and it's for entertainers over 40. Okay. And it was amazing. I had the best time, and I, I, I was scared to death. It was so much more frightening this time around than the first time because I'm older and you know it's things have changed so much but it was amazing and I had a wonderful time. Well what's it like for you to do the pageants? I mean do you get all worked up beforehand? Do you oh, have the nerves going oh, high? I, I'm a total <laughs> psycho, yeah. <laughs> Getting ready, you know, looking for just the right shoes and gowns and it's oh my gosh it's it's unbelievably uh, stressful, mm -hmm. you know, because you, you want to get out there and you want to do your best, you know, and there are also about 35 other ladies out there trying to do their best also. Mm -hmm. So you've got to be on your P's and Q's. Yeah. Do you have some drama backstage? Actually, no. The contests are run very fast. Mm -hmm. So there's no time for drama. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, you have exactly, um, I think it's 15 minutes between each category to go from presentation to swimsuit to evening gown and then to talent. So uh, you've got to have your stuff ready, set up and ready to go because it's it, it doesn't stop for anyone. If you're not in place on time, the contest continues without you, and oh. you are out. <laughs> well, I like it. Okay. Now, Dana, you did Miss Continental Elite, which you said was kind of nerve-wracking for you because you were getting back into pageants. So are you going to do some more pageants in the future? Well, I might consider doing more pageants. It's, it's been so exciting and so rewarding. Um, I don't know that there's a lot out there for entertainers of my age, but if I come across a few, I just might. I've had such a wonderful time this past year. Well, good. Good for you. What would you say, Dana, is your favorite part of being Dana Douglas? Uh, the love I get from all the people and all the fans. It's just it's so amazing, especially when the, with the new kids that are, that are just coming out in the world and, and getting to know all about themselves. And they always come with so many questions, and I try and be helpful if I can, you know, and, and give them direction, you know, to, to find success in this business because it's, it's not easy. 
-hmm. but it's very rewarding and I love that part of it. Mm -hmm. And speaking of the success, it, it probably isn't at all an easy business to find that success in, so, but you found it, obviously. I, I've been and, very blessed. And yeah. how do you think you found that success? Um, I don't know. I, I just think I had a guardian angel watching over me. I must have because I, I just followed my dreams and in the contest system, in the female impersonator pageant system, the contest, uh, you become part of a circuit. You know where they are, everybody competes, you know. I, I compete against a lot of the same girls regularly and we all are like a sorority. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's amazing, you know, and there's, there's, there's some interesting things that go along with that, you know, like, like with any sorority, you know, it's like the housewives of, <laughs> of drag. <You're> right. <laughs> it's crazy. It would make for an interesting episode, It would make a it? great episode, yeah. <laughs> a great show. Maybe yeah. we can do that in we'll the future. We'll think about that in Key West. <laughs> That's right. Now, Dana, for those who haven't seen one of your shows, tell us what it's like. Um, my show is kind of, it, there's a kind of a combination of, of like old school burlesque, but there's no stripping or anything like that. It's just old school Hollywood costumes with coats and feathers. And it's very Las Vegas, very showgirl, but we also blend into more of the music video type of productions also with dance and, and tricks, you know, different gimmicks in the show. It's, it's really a wonderful show. Great. I'd love for you to come see us. Well, I absolutely, I will come and catch one of your upcoming shows when you're back in Key West, because right now you are based um, in Gainesville. Yeah, I'm based in Gainesville. I'm, I'm actually a licensed auctioneer with the state of Florida. Mm -hmm. So I, I work in the auction business also, mm -hmm. selling antiques and collectibles, and I love that. But coming here uh, to do shows like this weekend, it, it's just been a wonderful experience, wonderful time. Great. I love being back here. Well, we're fortunate to have you back, Dana. Thank you for being back on the show, and please come and sit right back in that seat the next oh, time. Oh, you promise? Yes. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Jenna. Thank <laughs> you right. so much. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.